Hello and welcome back again to Warhammer Online. Let's see what we're up to. We are still at Felt Castle, but we need to go over here for the quest nobility. It would appear the arrogant noble could not resist providing proof of his generosity. If this Bertram Holmbauer truly did come under the influence of chaos, he could not have gotten far and once the plague took him. Uh, find noble Bertram wandering about the nearby graves as a mutant. Kill him and then report to Hogar Putnam at Krausner's garrison in Lizariel's shade. All right, well, let's head out there. I think we have uh, we we have more uh, uh, people to report to in Lizariel's shade. I'm not really sure where it is actually. Maybe it's this part. Hmm. Yeah, getting quite a bit of messages about my add-ons now. Custom map, ROR, pure. This looks weird. Is that kind of how they... Oh, uh huh. What's this? See, I think this is just one big uh, PvP area. Yeah, the the orange, the orange uh, bits are PvP, I believe. It's just kind of weird how this color scheme has changed on the map. Yeah, we have to go over here. So let's have a look around if we can see grave diggers. We have to fi kill 50 ghouls. Well, not planning on that. We just have to find Bertram. There he is. <laughs> Well, it's not too hard since he's probably the only one that looks a bit different. Yeah, he looks a bit uh, chaosified, corrupted. Well, that wasn't that bad. All right, of combat. There she goes. Slay it again, Sam. Trolls have attacked the Slayer camp. Our patrol accounted for all but one dwarf. Troll Slayer Simonier. Simonier. Um, he may be the last of the Troll Slayers alive in these parts. Nothing kills trolls like a Troll Slayer. Once he's dead, there'll be nothing standing between us and those Sigma forsaken creatures. Uh, so we have to find the Troll Slayer and do what we can to help him slaughter those trolls. Okay. Slay. 10 bog trolls and locate the troll slayer. Let's get to it. Oswald. Um, so that's a hand in actually, but what is it for? Speak with Oswald, the horror of murder. Slay it again, Sam. No, that's not it. Um, what should we 
do the horror of murder there it is rolling over the corpse to continue the investigation ah yes I remember this Johan uh, the marks the mark on Johan's forehead becomes clear the shape seems to move and change before your eyes although you are sure it's not changing at all it could be a flame or a fish smoke rises from a sensor or a nonsense scribble so the, uh, you realize you are no longer alone speak with Oswald, Oswald in the grave march about what he witnessed the night of the murder yeah I think the problem was Oswald was kind of afraid to report what he had actually seen because it was so um, unreal it was something like that so he probably feared that he wouldn't be believed but now let's see we'll be thankful for the swamp creatures when the food runs out if we last that long I guess well you've been eating they've been eating bats in this area so swamp creatures <laughs> may not be that bad as I tried to go back to sleep a loud shriek came from down Oh, someone is fighting trolls over there. Oh, she seems to be doing well. As I tried to go back to sleep, a loud shriek came from down by the pond. I almost screamed myself. It scared me so much. I ran to my door and made sure it was barred. Then I went to the window to see what made that horrible sound. Um, I couldn't see a thing, and I and if I didn't think whatever made that sound would come for me, I might have tried going back to bed, but then I saw it moving in the gloom. It looked like a person, all hunched up and hissing. I couldn't see it too clearly, but it moved with a limp. I hoped that whoever it was was wounded, but I hoped that it was wounded. But I didn't dare challenge them myself. What direction? They were heading east, towards the bog. When the sun came up, I looked where I saw it, but all I found was some dried mud. Kill the Diagloom trolls until you find some evidence regarding Johan's murder. Inspect Johan's coin purse for any additional information you might be able to gather. Okay, so he didn't... I thought Oswald found the body, but I guess that's not the case then. He just saw something that was kind of unreal. Um, all hunched up hissing. Hmm. I ain't getting any younger. Anyway. So this one is not tied to a quest. I looked at a, a, a video about uh, Knights of the Blazing Suns, kind of a guide video. Um, I didn't really get much from it. But one thing I did was that I should be using taunt a whole lot more because I I thought it was only that it was just that taunting but it actually uh, uh, while taunted your opponent will take 30% more damage so yeah I basically have to use that all the time as much as I can well, yeah I have to get used to the fact that um, there's the, uh, the Troll Slayer. Yeah, that every every loot is other loot. I don't have to hold shift. Maybe I could um, swap it around in the, uh, in the settings actually, because it's quite annoying. Let's see, maybe, uh, maybe it's a... It might be a gameplay. Always other loot. Okay, let's turn that off. Because yeah, like I, I'm very used to just shift looting. Slayer's demise. Oh, we found Johan's coin purse. Do we have to use that actually? Um, guess not. So yeah, now the question is: Do we try? Uh, we should probably kill trolls first and then talk to him. Because I've that was kind of something that uh, happened last time.
You've encountered a giant lizard. Uh, another beast whose unnatural size is likely attributable to the warping effect of chaos of, of some madman's experiments. Experimentation. The giant lizard dwarfs the normal re representatives of its species. I know Slay It Again Sam is a play on one words on um, Play It Again Sam but I'm actually not sure what Play It Again Sam is from. Is it from Casablanca? Okay, this part of the uh, last of the trolls. Is it this one? Okay, let's do this. Uh, Mox Spit. There he is. Just do all the things. Stack everything. There it goes. Let's cheer. <laughs> oh, we get a okay. Yes. Um. Bow. You bow before the chest. No, I don't want to bow to the chest. I want to bow to uh, first place. Okay. Um, but wait, am I still... Uh, does this work? Yep, we left. Okay. I kind of, I noticed because the... Uh, the little ball disappeared that shows you uh, your character or uh, your party members. Oh no, that's something else. Yeah, clearly I have not set up my um, my party. Uh, uh, should probably take some time to get those sorted. Um. Yeah, kind of the party UI within pure UI. have killed 25 trolls. Uh, file breath. Okay, that's a, a unique one. Uh, 
Let's kill him. If we can. Level 13 champion. Should be doable, right? Yeah, I should probably kill more bark trolls before I talk to the troll slayer. Bit of a grind, but we'll be okay. out of ten. Okay. Wounded Slayer, Wounded Slayer. Maybe those uh, will come into play later. Turn these on. I keep forgetting that. wondering uh, well of course I am taking a rather long time leveling because I am um, hmm. yeah, I'm kind of sticking around doing all the quests I'm not just um, you know being level rank 20 now I could probably move ahead Quite a bit. So I'm kind of wondering just how fast you could get to max level in this game. Because the max level from what I've... Uh, I think it's 40 actually. And then you also have a renown level, but I think that is tied to PvP. And that... Uh, the maximum renown is 80. Inspect your one's coin purse. Yeah, but I have the coin purse. Why can't I? Ex I have two of them now. There he is. A coin purse lies half buried at the troll's feet. The contents of the purse establish uh, it as belonging to the farmer, but trolls have no interest in money. The purse could also only be gotten tangled into the troll's wart ridden toes if it was loose already. Return to Breitenbach's encampment in the Blighted Hills and speak with Wilhelm again to try to elicit more information. Okay, we have to go. Um, Wilhelm was the. Uh, that's the. The noble that's in the cage, right? But he kind of told us everything already, didn't he? Anyway. Ah, uh, no. I failed to blast the troll storm the camp before I could do anything to help. One of them crushed me legs with a boulder. It was used. It was used. Huge. Bloody powerful. It'll take an army to bring it down. 
Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go, okay. So the Slayer camp is no more, eh? Bah! If only I could have met my end in glorious battle. In gl glorious battle against those trolls, alongside my brother's slayers. An honorable death against my sworn adversaries would be preferable to lying here wounded, unable to move or fight. I suppose it's only a matter of time before the trolls come to finish me off. Do me a favor, take this ring back to Sergeant Kudler and tell him, tell him I cannot fulfill my oath to slay trolls, for my body is broken. Return to Sergeant Kruler at Felt Castle in the Blighted Hills. Give him Se uh, Simonia's ring and the news that Simonia uh, is injured and out of action. Okay. Yep. Get well soon, Simonia. Maybe we'll come back for you. Um. Oh, well, we have to fight our way through. Hmm. I should probably change my UI a bit. Um, get an extra extra hot bar because I'm filling up on. Um, I don't have any more spaces, so if I if I were to level now and I I get new abilities, they wouldn't show up. Uh, but I think I can. Yeah. I probably have to make a, a third toolbar with, uh, or t a third action bar with kind of stuff that I don't, um, won't be needing all the time. Yeah, I'm going back to Feld first. I might make a third one that is kind of, uh, I should probably look into these one as well. So I don't know if I have actually have anything to put in there aside from the first one. These might uh, uh, empty, uh, get available on later levels. But yeah, get a get a third uh, hit bar, uh, action bar somewhere that I can just. Uh, so I have a, one of the add-ons allows me to have a hot bar that I can just hide uh, uh, unless I hover over it with my mouse. Then it becomes visible again. So I could put some stuff that I don't really need uh, to have visible all the time. Just put it on there. Maybe put it somewhere here. But then, if I put my uh, buffs up there, I'll probably forget them even more than I do. Uh, okay, so we don't have to speak to... No, this is Jaeger, right, Lord Jaeger. Because he already kind of spilled the beans about the tainted grain and... Um, um, kind of the evil uh, no nobility looking for uh, immortality through... Um, kind of these doctors with their uh, traitorous noble. Yeah, the do these doctors were doing kind of weird culty stuff. Oh. Um, yeah, I've been kind of looking a bit more into, I, sh I should probably commit to it and read, just read some stuff. Um, but I, I am fairly sure actually that the, 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 I always had this notion that Warhammer kind of, uh, this, the, the fantasy setting of Warhammer and the 40k setting were connected. So this was just the past and, and 40k was just the far off future and maybe Age of Sigmar was in the middle somewhere. But I'm I'm fairly certain by now that that is that uh, uh, that is not the case. It's it they they use the same uh, themes almost. They kind of use use the same principles in a way, but they're not actually linked. Uh, they are separate universes, you could say. I'm pretty sure that that is the case because in this in this setting. 
uh, chaos is more of a kind of a magic elemental realm and in the 40k version it's it's uh, yeah it's it's something else it has to do with the uh, with warp travel uh, it it does in both cases uh, make you go mad if you basically uh, kind of your um, uh, Cthulhu myth mythos um, uh, deal <laughs> Uh, workings of the uh, of the uh, of the nether realm, uh, the same as in the Cthulhu mythos, where uh, you uh, you just if you look at it, if you get confronted with uh, with the uh, the other dimension, you you basically just go mad because your brain can't handle it. And I think that is kind of how the chaos uh, realm works in this game. Most people will go mad if they look at it or be uh, inflicted by it, and turn to. Uh, well, chaos. And um, I think that is true for both, for all three of them. Uh, but yeah, they kind of the details are different. And here it's kind of more your magic key, the, the realm that uh, allows magic use for those who are capable of uh, uh, bending the chaos realm, like elementalists. Um, and yeah, in the 40k version, there are, I think, also certain classes of, uh, of people that can use Chaos Realm in certain ways without being um, completely uh, con uh, afflicted by it. Anyway, yeah, if anyone... Uh, well, probably not. I would say if, any if anyone knows uh, something about it, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd be happy to hear it. But then again, uh, uh, it'd probably take a while to write it all down, so don't bother. <laughs> Um, in battle, you need to keep your head. Pa keep your head. Panic will get you killed. Slayed against Sam. Seminary is mortally wounded. Sigma's hammer that leaves no slayers left to battle against those trolls. There could be a pack of them coming to this very spot right now, and my men are already exhausted. Thank you for this valuable piece of information. I will try to scrape together a defense somehow. Uh, let's take the health potion. Okay, Sergeant Cooler has nothing else for us. Oh yeah, this is Wilhelm. Um, the Horror of Murder. So we have to show him uh, the bag, right? I've tried to tell him, but that's crueler. He just won't listen. Me? I didn't plant anything. Look, yes, I lied. I thought if I told people that I went there that night, they'd think I murdered Johan. But I didn't. I swear by Sigmar I didn't lay a hand on him. Johan was my friend. Uh, so... Uh, Wilhelm was the one that kind of saw the uh, the body and the, and the weirdness going going on with it. Anyway, I woke up that night to a terrible scream from Johan's house. I ran up the road to see what happened and found him just as I told you. I saw no sign of his killer. I found his medallion outside on the ground. It's one of those wolf medallions that those Ulrich wor worshippers wear. One of them must have done it. Uh, travel to the Way Shrine of Ulrich in the Marshlands Graves and talk to Kelfus uh, about the presence of the Medallion of Ulfric at the murder scene. All right. So we have a a, a uh, dark figure that seemed to be limping away from the crime scene, and we have found a uh, uh, a medallion of sorts. Speak to Kelfus. Let's go do that. I'm curious. Renowned rank 80, yeah. That was kind of the thing with the uh, video I was looking up about Ni uh, uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun guide. I was hoping just to learn how to actually tank, but it was really, uh, yeah. Again, I don't, I can't blame them because this game is really more PvP based than PVE based. But I was kind of just, yeah, wanting to know how to exactly go about tanking and the video is really more about uh, your the, the setup of your abilities and whatnot to be optimal in pvp and i was more hoping for you know what abilities to use on 
enemies and whatnot in dungeons to get uh, to be kind of your optimal tank. Although then again, maybe uh, yeah. So it, it the video did kind of show me that uh, I should probably uh, kind of uh, should build up the habit to use taunt all the time. So that's something I learned from it. But yeah, there was also a lot of stuff that I just don't have yet because it was all uh, later level stuff, abilities and such, and stuff that you can. Uh, I cannot get right now. Let's let's go around this. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. I tend to gravitate towards um, want wanting to play tanky characters because I. What's this? Well, I like I like the sword and board aesthetic for one, and um, a noblar. Noblar. Noblars are, and the rarely, and the rarer boglar, are an offshoot of the goblin species and share that race diminutive, diminutive size, as well as its cruel and vindictive nature. They also share the goblins' capaci capacity for, or rather, lack of valor. They are cowards by nature who only fight in large numbers, or when otherwise assured of victory. All right. Uh, but yeah, I used to play, um, when I started out, kind of, I've mentioned this earlier, but World of Warcraft was kind of my first actual real MMO back in the day. And I started out playing DPS, and then later on I switched to a Paladin, which I played as a DPS when, when D DPS Paladins were uh, kind of uh, <laughs> BS. Uh, and then I... Uh, Later, when I got got a, got a, uh, a bit more older and wiser and got a grip of the game, uh, I kind of switched to holy, and then I did I did healing for a while, and I kind of enjoy healing, and I still do. But then uh, I think uh, quite recently with with uh, World of Warcraft, um, the classic server, that was kind of when I when I thought, okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead and play a tank. Or maybe bef even before that, I kind of did some tanking uh, on retail. Uh, years before that but by then the game had been simplified so much that tanking was just it really uh, uh, didn't uh, require any 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 more skill than DPSing honestly maybe a bit more awareness just looking around but yeah the abilities and such were uh, fa fairly easy Baba Kartoflana? What brings you? Greetings. Let Carl Franz come. His empire will shatter. All right. We're not meant to talk to you yet. That is clear. Um. The weakling south men deserve to die. So yeah, you do have the the um, chaos, uh, kind of the human chaos uh, faction, but they're not quite as, um, this one is, how should I say, kind of in the, in, in the middle, because she still looks quite human, only she talks weird and if... Yeah, the, the actual playable chaos race humans are a bit more um, weathered and, and kind of crunched up kind of further along. They really can't pass for actual human anymore. A sword master. It's a unique monster, isn't it? Twisted mushroom. 
probably make uh, make a bit of a habit to go uh, hunting a bit more to do some collecting of uh, materials so I can do some more apothecary there he is, Calvus what's this? Shrine of Ulric oh this gives a quest, okay. Uh, Ulrich's blessing, shrine to Ulrich. Many have prayed to Ulrich, uh, the god of winter, wolves and battle in hope it will grant them a blessing. The forces of chaos descend upon these lands even now. The empire needs this help, needs his help now more than ever. Do you wish to pray to Ulrich? Touch the stone and pray at this shrine to Ulrich. Token of Ulrich. Huh. I guess we'll we'll do that. Uh, does does pray actually get do a? Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, there she goes. You pray for the shrine of Ulrich. Okay. As you kneel before the altar, you notice a small token at your feet that you that you're sure wasn't there before. It would appear that Ulrich has decided to answer your prayer. You take the token and place it in your pack before rising to your feet once more. Medallion of Ulrich. Uh, yeah, that's the one we are supposed to show here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Does it look like I can equip it? Hmm. Anyway, let's speak to Kelvis. The horror of murder. Kelvis. Kelvus? Kelvis. The eyes of the wolf on this medallion are green. Green-eyed medallions are the ones worn by our high priests. Where did you say this was found? Oh, we're at level 21. So yeah, <laughs> I may have gotten a new... Uh, uh, I should check probably if I have a new ability because it, it wouldn't show up now. Oh, and I have, I have a new uh, ability here. As long as you're holding a shield, I see. And at the moment I have a two-hand equipped, so that's no use. But I, I should probably uh, switch to uh, sword and board and stick with it, because, yeah. Although, then again, eh. We're fine. Uh, Melachias, Melachias? Melachias is the head of our order in these troubled lands, but he's gone deep into the wilds in order to more clearly hear our Lord's will. Seek out Melachias. Mel Mel yeah. Mel Malachias in the far reaches of the marshlands graves and bring this matter to a resolution then return to sergeant cruller at felt castle with the evidence you have uncovered oh we get a we get a shield oh that's cool and it looks like it's a new uh, a new design actually a new graphic a new model so i'm curious about that where do we need to go there we go okay Still, it's still on this map, so let's have a look. Uh, Dead Eater Haunt. I'm not sure if it's these ones, but I, I did r um, run into. It might be. Uh, in some, uh, I did run into certain ghoul types enemies, and then I uh, got like the pop up with the uh, um, where I kind of got information about uh, like so. Instead of trolls, this was about uh, a ghoul, and it told me that they it actually weren't undead creatures. It was just uh, they were just people that were kind of so taunted by. Uh, uh, well, not even taunted. They were just resorted to eating humans, and they were kind of just um, uh, deformed by it. So that's kind of uh, grim. Can we talk to you, well met. Nathaniel the Hermit? Do I look busy to you? Yeah, you don't look busy, but oh well. Hmm. 
Nathaniel the Hermit and Nathaniel the Hermit. Something is going on here. Oh, and he's actually different, so one of you is an imposter. Again, maybe it's tied to a uh, quest that we're not on. Just like the, the uh, Baba character that we found standing on the cliff. Alright, we need to find uh, Melachias. Melachias? We can call him Melek for short. Dead Marauder. You have learned about Soulblight Stone. Soulblight Stone. The Chaos Trolls charged into the band of warriors, utterly fearless. The warriors frantically waved their torches in an attempt to ward off the disgusting creature. It simply ignored them, tearing men apart with tooth and claw as if the flames did not exist. This was highly unusual behavior for a troll, as the species had a natural fear of flames and fire. The creatures seemed to have no fear of death at all. Or it was simply suicidal. Regardless, it would not be a problem this day. The Chaos Troll made short work of the warriors. Uh, its diseased and twisted form make it, making it far hardier than a normal troll. This creature roared in anger and, anger and disappointment as it wandered back into the wilds of troll country. Yeah. That's not good. Quite a big area we need to cover here to find someone. Plagued crate. Yeah, let's uh Might also be a quest that we're not on yet. Hmm. That might be him. Oh. Okay. Well, guess we have no choice. We have to kill him. Served rations. Hmm. So, um, yeah. Let's go see Sergeant Cruder. Cruder. Yeah. Another sixty, sixty trolls. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. One hundred butchering skill. probably use this yeah let's I think I might call the episode after we're done here won't have to ride the whole way back Everything was done to protect Wilhelm, eh? 
You were standing right here and were going to let me burn the whole village down. You make me sick, you filthy, f you cowardly filth. I'll see your neck for this. What? Everything was done to protect Wilhelm. So that's Wilhelm, yeah. Hmm. You must first select the reward. All right. Um, let's do this one. Hmm. I'm not really sure how we resolved it now. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, well, it's very probable then the, uh, that the that that Melchias character was the one responsible for everything. Kind of a crazed warrior priest that killed someone, killed Johan, and uh, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let's um. Get rid of this so we can wear a shield. Yes. Oh. That is pretty cool though. Should probably see to getting a better sword. Yeah. Maybe there's one in here. That would be nice. Um Nope, that's worse than what we got. That is the same as what we got. Uh, maybe. No. Nah. Maybe the ring. Yeah, that's probably better than this. And then again, the war tokens might be... Uh, well, no, let's take the ring. I don't care. There we go. Alright. Yeah, nothing we can do with this. Hmm. Maybe I should start playing a bit without my helmet showing. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll call it here. Kind of a bit of a letdown there. That it wasn't really that clear what actually happened there. What that last part was about. Oh well. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time we'll probably head over here see what they uh, what they have for us at the Black Ramble Hell Hello Empire War Camp. Heal rally flight. Speak with Master Finch. And press press biter from. All right. Yeah, we'll go there next time. So for now, thank you for watching and um, I don't know, have a nice day. <laughs> Goodbye.